Howdy, Billy here, and I've put together an article about spirulina just to answer some general questions that I've been getting. And first of all, many of you know that spirulina is one of the main ingredients in my formula with chlorophyll and klamath algae. So the base of my formula, the majority of my formula is blue-green algae. And so first of all, blue-green algae, it's been on the planet for billions of years, literally, that it was the first life, actually. The first life created simply from sunlight, water, and the right mineral content. And poof, life. And it's what fed all else. It's what all else evolved from. Now, there are literally thousands of kinds of algae, and that, that several are revered as a food and have been in the human diet for thousands of years in remote tropical cultures. And that spirulina, let's go into the chemistry of this a bit, it is a huge concentration of chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is what makes all living green things green. Leaves, grass, kale, all leafy greens, algae. And that it is one of the most important things we put in our body. Green foods. Green foods of all kinds. Okay, now here's the thing. This is what it does for you. Chlorophyll has a strong negative ion charge, and that charge bonds to toxins in the body, which have a positive charge. Acids, just general toxins, free radicals, and that the chlorophyll bonds to this to be removed. Now, taken in conjunction in my formula with enzymes, probiotics, mucolaginous fiber, the cactuses, ginger, it takes that even to an exponential level. And that's why it's revered as a bit of a weight loss food. There is no silver bullet. I can't brag about my stuff. And I'm sorry there is no silver bullet, but it's all about the ripple effect. Here's what happens. That first of all, the body metabolizes uh, excessive fat for many reasons, but there are the three primary reasons. Of course, a sedentary lifestyle. Okay, Get up off the couch, work your butt. Number two, too many fried foods, cooked meat products, roasted nuts and seeds, rancid oils and all the bagged uh, chips, potato chips, fries, da da da. And then the third thing is just the accumulation of toxins in the body. That uh, not drinking enough fresh water, not enough green foods, eating too many junk foods, these toxins accumulate and that's when the body actually produces extra fat cells in order to uh, insulate your vital organs from those toxins. And that once you extract those toxins, your body then actually can begin to burn your fat as a fuel. Fat and carbohydrates are both fuel, in your food but also in your body. And so once you begin burning that fat, obviously you don't have as much of an appetite and uh, people do lose weight. It sets off that chain reaction. Okay, and then um, people also revere it as a bit of a life force food and that of course all living things in our diet can be a life force but spirulina out of all the plant foods is the highest concentration of B12. Now B12 we also get in animal products but to get it from a vegetarian source just means like the more the better or of course with animal products you can only have so much saturated fat. Now, when you take that B12 in, we all know B12 also sets off a chain reaction. So you don't just inject B12 and all of a sudden you have energy. Like all these energy drinks that are trying to market that they have just loads of B12 is a joke. You don't metabolize that. It's an artificial B12 and what you're feeling is the caffeine buzz. Okay, now when you take in that B12 from foods, again, a process begins that it produces... Um, it actually is, is a support to your red blood cells. Red blood cells carry nutrients, but most importantly, oxygen. Oxygen is the most important thing we put in our body, of course. And so, oxygen just makes everything work better. Okay? And the other thing that spirul uh, spirulina has is a huge amount of iron, also a life force food. Now the rejuvenative property that it, it's known for is again that it pulls toxicity out of the body and actually replaces that with just huge amounts of beta carotene which are a bit of a cleanser, um, eliminating uh, too much inflammation in the body. So it's all about just taking those foods like spirulina that pull the funk out and put the good stuff back in. 
And um, that's it. Just uh, drink it up. And I know some of you don't like drinking green things. That's why I always do my stuff in capsule form as well. And uh, great. Good to connect. Check back in soon.